Okay, good morning. So we're going to continue our lessons. Uh, we're going to move to chapter 3. Chapter 3 in this textbook talks about adjusting entries. So we're going to talk about adjusting entries. Um, moving to the agenda of the, the uh, this PowerPoint. We're going to talk about the time period assumption. We're going to talk about the revenue recognition principle. Revenue recognition principle is one of the most important generally accepted accounting principles. Uh, we'll talk about this in detail throughout the course. We're also going to talk about the matching principle uh, and accrual basis of accounting, some adjusting entries and their types, and of course at the end we're going to talk about the adjusted trial balance. Remember, you, you have to prepare trial balances uh, a few times during the, the accounting cycle. The first time is at the end of your uh, journal entries, regular journal entries, then the second time is after your adjusting entries. So the time period assumption assumes that the economic life of a business is divided into equal parts, months, quarters, years, um, usually they're referred to as fiscal years. However, as a, as a business person or as an entrepreneur, you don't think of your business uh, divided into months or years. You think of your business as a business and you know the time you started, uh, from the time you started till now. However, in accounting, you must distinguish between uh, months or years and hence we refer to them as fiscal years. Uh, if the year is uh, not finished and you want to talk about let's say three months or six months, you can refer to it as, uh, as interim periods within the, the fiscal year. Uh, revenue recognition principle, as I mentioned, is the most important uh, accounting principle, one of the most important accounting principles. It says that revenue must be recognized when it is earned, not when cash is received. I'll emphasize that again. Revenue must be recognized when it is earned, not when cash is received. That means that if someone comes and, uh, and buys something from you because you're the business owner and they don't pay you at that point, revenue must be recognized because it has been earned although you have not received the cash. Cash will be received later on. So revenue recognition is one of the most crucial, one of the most critical principles that accountants must follow. In a service business, as I just mentioned, um, revenue is usually considered to be earned at the time when service is performed. So let's say if you're a medical doctor, you're an accountant, you're a, a lawyer, you're, you have some kind of service, you're a consultant that you provide to others, um, revenue is recognized at the time when you have performed the service. You may meet the person later, a bit later, uh, maybe a couple of weeks later. You may actually, uh, they may actually pay you three months later. However, the revenue must be recognized the day when you have finished the services. In a merchandising business where you're selling goods, uh, revenue is recognized uh, when the goods are usually delivered, but there are other uh, criteria to this which we will we'll definitely get into later on in the course. Now the matching principle is another key principle. Revenue recognition principle you saw has to deal with revenues. The matching principle actually deals with the expenses. So expenses must be uh, recognized uh, or, or matched with revenues. So re re uh, expenses need to be matched with the revenues that they, uh, they help bring um, into the company. So there are several examples to this. We'll come to those examples in a few minutes. But at this point, you must remember that there are expenses that happen all the time and you must recognize them in order to, for you to match those expenses with the revenues. So then what is accrual basis of accounting? Accrual basis of accounting helps you uh, uh, adhere to or understand or apply the revenue recognition principle and the matching principle at the same time, which is obviously your, uh, you know, two of your generally accepted accounting principles. So revenue is recorded when it is earned, not when cash is received. Expense is recorded when services or goods are used in the generation of revenues, not necessarily when cash is paid. So you can be a business where you say, I'm going to buy this furniture, 
but I'm not going to pay this furniture uh, for this furniture until the, the next year. And you will have to recognize some of that furniture as an expense throughout this first year, although you have not paid for it the next till the next year. So uh, revenue recognition and, and matching principle work hand in hand, and they are one and the same. However, revenues deal with revenue. Revenue recognition deals with revenues. Matching principle deals with expenses, and you must understand uh, which perspective we're talking about when you're dealing with these expenses. Uh, sorry, these revenues and expenses. So at the end of the year, you must perform certain adjusting entries. Adjusting entries make the accrual basis of accounting happen. This is the fundamental way of um, applying revenue recognition and um, matching principle, and they help you make an adjusted trial balance at the end of the year, of course. But before the adjusted trial balance, you must perform adjusting entries. There are three types of adjusting entries that we're going to talk about. The first one has to deal with prepayments. And within prepayments, you've got prepaid expenses or unearned un un revenues. The second type is accruals, and you have accrual revenues and accrual expenses, or accrued revenue and accrued expenses. And then you have estimates. The only type of estimate we're going to talk about is amortization. So a bit further into these types of adjusting entries, prepaid expenses. You've dealt with some of these before. Expenses prepaid in cash and recorded as assets before they are used. So prepaid insurance, prepaid rent, these things come to mind when we talk about prepaids. Prepaids are something that you have paid to someone else and uh, as a prepayment for that expense. However, that expense has not happened yet, as for example, prepaid rent. So let's say you prepay the rent for the entire year up front. The year has not finished yet, so at the, at the end of the month, you would take part of that rent out of the prepaid asset and make it into an expense. This concept is called adjusting the prepaid, expense, a prepaid account. Um, and this, of course, is an adjusting entry. This is a matching principle that you're following when you make this journal entry. Unearned revenue is the opposite. So let's say now you're the landlord of that place and you have received money up and up front. So this, this becomes unearned revenue for you because the year hasn't finished yet. So unearned revenue is a liability. If prepaid expense is an asset, unearned revenue is a liability. And unearned revenue is a liability because it can be asked back by the person who paid for it at any time. So you will recognize the revenue from this liability as time goes by. So at the end of the month, the, the person who paid the rent will recognize that as a rent expense, and the person who collected the revenue, the rent, will recognize that as revenue uh, from their unearned revenue liability account. Accrued revenues and accrued expenses are things that we deal with regularly, um, accounts payable, accounts receivable. These are basically your accrued expenses and revenues. And amortization, we'll talk a bit more about that throughout the course, is the allocation of the cost of long-term assets to the expenses over their useful lives. Yep. So I'm gonna stop it here, and tomorrow we'll continue the lesson with certain adjust entries and, uh, adjusting entries, and I'll show you some examples of how adjusting entries are done so you have them as a reference tool from then on.